Happy day two of Vlogmas. It is December 2nd. Oh, all of our snow is gone. It rained so much yesterday that it took all the snow away and it is 34 degrees out. I'm sitting here knitting on um, Mr. Jerry's uh, Christmas socks, whether they get done this year or not. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see how the month goes, um, but I'm going to try really hard to get um, his pair of socks done. Um, I have my first cup of coffee and my snowman. He is so happy. Mug today. I need to go um, soon to go get the second cup and put some creamer in it. Have not had breakfast. Mr. Jerry left to go into town. He needed to go to the bank. And then he's going to pick up some gift um, cards for our kids and grandson. And, oh, there was something else. And then he's going to bring home McDonald's. And usually I get the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit with a hash brown. So it will be a high point breakfast this morning. But I am definitely going to work this into my... Um, my day because I can eat good for um, lunch and supper and not that McDonald's isn't good it's just it's the holidays and when he he doesn't offer to do this very often for McDonald's and so I definitely will take advantage of it so um, I will take you along on my day uh, I will be showing you I um, day two of my stripe for my socks and then my advent embroidery um, day two and then of course mr jerry's short um, bread cookies 
He was, I don't think he's a fan of the shortbread cookies. Yesterday, he didn't care for that first one. And it, um, it didn't say on the package what kind it was. So, and then the um, his jellies are his little jams. And whatever else the day brings on, we will show you that. And I hope you enjoyed day one. This is my first year doing Vlogmas. Um, I'm still doing my um, weight loss journey, so I will bring you along on that also. So I'm going to let you go. I am going to um, go get another cup of coffee um, and continue to work on this. Um, I don't have too much more to do when I do this. This is what I mean that I got. So... I would say I have probably a couple more inches before the heel flap, but I'm going to um, work on this this morning and see what the day brings. I do know that if everything works out tonight, our town has their Christmas parade. We plan on going down there, so I will um, try to, it will be dark, so I will try to see what I can get in there. I might have to mute it because of um, music, you know, and all that stuff. But I will definitely take you along for that. We missed last night the lighting of the manger and the lighting of the Christmas tree downtown because it was just downpouring, just downpouring. So hopefully I will um, we'll get to do that. But again, I hope you all have a blessed um, a Saturday and... Um, I will see you um, when I never know how to exit out of that. So I'll see you at either lunchtime or the next um, thing that I'm doing. Talk to you later, friends. Okay, breakfast today is a whopping 19 points. Four points for the hash browns and 15 for the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. 19 points. Hey friends, um, I thought I would show you. I got my second stripe on my Advent um, socks done. And yep, you can see there's two different stripes. They do not match. Somehow when I wound them and separated them, I they both started out with the same color, but it was definitely different. So this one here has a brown in it. And then this one has that teal. So my t my socks are going to be scrappy and I'm going to love it because they're not going to match as far as, I mean, they'll still probably have both in it, but I don't know what I did. But at this stage, I really don't care. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Anyways, this is from Freckled Whimsy um, in her Splendid and... Um, base and this is um, her 23 advent 24 stripe hearth and home is what it's called and <clears throat> her splendid is 85 percent south um, superwash merino and 15 percent nylon 100 grams so but anyways, so this is day two. These are my cuffs. I did did not do a um, traditional um, ribbing of two by two or three by one or anything like that. I decided to do a rolled hem, which basically is just um, straight stockinette stitching. And as you can tell, it likes to roll at the top. I've done that for some shorty socks. Um, I made... Um, Oh, it's by Mara. Roller City um, Shorty Socks. And this is what she uses for hers. And I really like it. And I just didn't, I just wasn't in the mood of doing ribbing. Sometimes I just don't want to do the purling. But anyway, so this is um, day two right here. It is that dark, dark purple with the lighter purples in there. You can see the variegation of it. This one is your teal and your mint color. So pretty. And then I have it in my Grinch bag. Um, this is from um, 
on Etsy called Fancy Boy Designs. I love this bag. The inside, look at that. Isn't that sweet? And then it comes with the handle here. Um, the zipper pull is a snowflake. And there is his logo. I will try to remember to um, link it in the description box. Um, I won't do this because um, this was uh, pre-ordered in July. So, But anyways, I just wanted to show you day two is in the books for that. I'm going to show you Miss Callie. So, yay. I just want to keep knitting on it, but I can't. <laughs> so, um, day two. friends I thought I would show you our hallway just before you go into our bedroom I'm not going to show you everything in our bedroom but I'm just going to show you in our bedroom and bathroom what I've got decorated um, the hallway isn't much of decorations I always um, put garland and something on the door this is our mantle clock that or our wall clock that we really really love <coughs> Mr. Jerry got that at auction and then he um, brought it back to life basically it has a beautiful tick tock this was a rag quilt while hanging that I did um, with glue stick applique so they were all individual squares this is out of flannel and I used two different kinds the top one was a like a five inch stacker so all different kinds and then the back was batiks I had left over so I just cut those out and then I found some fabric and I cut the hearts out and the whole idea is that you sit there and you um, stitch the hearts down on this and then you sew them together with roughly a one and a half to two inch um, seam that sticks out and then you clip it and then you wash it and it's supposed to fray. Um, this one she had us do when you cut out the hearts, um, you traced it on freezer paper and then so there was a lot of hearts I had to trace. And then you sat there and then you ironed the freezer paper to the front of the green fabric for this. And then you peeled off that and then you put um, Elmer's glue stick on the back. And then you pressed it on with a hot iron to melt the or dry up the glue. And then you just did whatever decorative stitch. So this is my first attempt at this, and I got it up on the wall here. Mr. Jerry collects gumball machines, so he got this one, and it does work. And he's fixed it all up, repainted it. He rescued this mantle clock. I love mantle clocks. And then he um, did this old secretary. And what he does is he strips down the old and then um, he refinishes it, refinishes it. And as you can tell, he's using it to hide things. <laughs> and then underneath is an old 
um, a tool chest that, or uh, yeah, a, a tool carry chest that he redid. And I don't think I can get into this one as easily. Nope. So I can't get into that. I'll have to have him show you sometime. But anyways, that is leading into our hallway. Well, it is our hallway. And then on this, as you can tell, we use the closet. I've got to shorten it up because Mr. Jerry always closes that in. So let me pause you a second and we will go into the bedroom. So the only thing decorated really in here, I do have a Christmas tree, but it's really dirty over there, so I'm not going to show you that. But our bedding is, um, this is the first quilt I did during the um, pandemic by Lisa Cape and Quilts. It was all applique and um, different squares. And we went up to Joann's and we bought all the fabric for it. So this one right here is your Christmas trees that were all applique on. And then you have your um, your fan look here. The um, Oh, I can't think what it's called, <clears throat> but I call it a fan. And then over here is, I love this one, pinwheel. Square within the star. This is the joy block that was appliqued. This was a churn dash. I'm going to turn the phone a little bit. This was um, a log cabin. And then we have um, a wreath that was appliqued. So just a second. My arm, my arms don't stretch that much. These are mittens that were appliqued. And then this is another um, black one. So right here is the black. You have a straight and then two. Then you have a straight and you have two. And that's what makes this whole black. This is the reindeer. And that was appliqued. And then this is your, um, normally be a nine patch, but it's two fours. It's 16 patch. And then it had the borders all the way around it. A wider border and then the binding. And then... This is what we picked for the back side. This is my very first quilt that we actually paid for somebody to do. And this is in gold. And they're light bulbs. They're like tree lights. So pleased with this. I did this. Oh, it's been, well, you know, pandemics when it started. So it's been that long. <coughs> And we pulled this out every year since for Christmas. Honestly, it stays on the bed until springtime. And then what I did was we had these fleece um, blankets or sheet sets. I have a blue and then this um, maroon color or burgundy color. And so that's kind of what we base these colors on the quill out of. And then um, I made our pillowcases. Pillowcases are not difficult if you're a sewer. So this one right here, <clears throat> they are elves. Let me turn it so you can see the pattern. And then I just did the coordinating. Well, the, it came as a kit, so it was the coordinating um, <clears throat> piping and then the outside border so this is the one thing that is in our room that I just love I never thought about decorating a bed but ladies and gents if you've got anything that's a different color change your bedding up 
make it more festive for you. Um, you know, I've seen the time that our quilt that's underneath this one because this one doesn't fall as long. This quilt underneath here, this is the back side. The front side is my spring color right there. So I always say change it up, but that right there is what is in our bedroom. Then in our bathroom, there's just little things. Um, these are little dollar store figurines I've had for many, many years. And this is a candle holder snowman. And then up on top of our washer and dryer, I try to put a tree in every room, is this right here. And then when I go against the opposite wall, is our snowman that comes on every night. It's on a timer. This is a um, table topper I made, and I just use it back here. A cross stitch that I have done. I put our laundry soap in a pretty decorative jar. This is what we use all the time. These used to be um, what I found out were recipe card holders. Mr. Jerry cleaned them up and this one holds our Q-tips. You take that big long box and you um, tear it in two and it goes right in there. I don't have Q-tips all over the place. And then this one, the bigger size one, it holds our fabric dryer sheets perfect. And then the last thing in here up on our wall, <clears throat> this is a painting that our daughter's mother and um, mother in love painted. And um, they got this for me for Christmas a couple years ago. So all this is, is this is the blackest screen. It is a screen window is what it is. And she painted the screen black. And then she did the wood in that gray silver. And then she just painted the snowman and everything. This stays up year round. But you can see the screen right there. But she is so talented. I just love this one. And I love the little one peeking out behind Papa. And she even um, splattered the white paint on the edge. So we have had this for several years. She no longer does this type of stuff. Um, and I have a couple other things of hers. But anyways, I hope today that you enjoyed all the other things that I have. I just noticed on our doors, we always have little door fun things on there. Um, that can be irritating because when you go to grab a door, that's in the way. But anyways, I'm probably getting an echo in here. And I have one over here. So anyways, that is, try not to get the toilet in the shot or the cat box. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that stuff. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed um the tour of our master um, bedroom and um, a bath. And within the next few days, I will do some others. Thanks, friends.
lunch today is three points. It is tuna fish salad on crackers and um, an apple. day two day two thanks again my friends again Merry Christmas have a blessed um, month and we will see you on the next vlogmas mm -hmm.